today's a very exciting day. It's the event for our, our Metro Mines STEAM competition, uh, where over 300 students have put in submissions about innovative solutions to problems that Sydney Metro might have. We designed a completely sustainable station that powers itself and is off the grid. We chose to focus on the environmental impact of the train. The towers use the principle of piezoelectricity to generate energy from the kinetic energy of people's footsteps. In our first stage, we would propose an announcement that recognises the Indigenous land that the station is on. Welcome to Metro Mines STEAM Challenge. Hi everyone, I'm Peter Regan, Chief Executive of Sydney Metro. I'm really excited to hear about your work on the Metro Mines STEAM Challenge. And particularly, congratulations to the five teams that have been selected as our finalists today. It's been absolutely fantastic to see the diversity of students involved and the issues and challenges that they've chosen to focus on. This is the biggest event in our calendar in terms of engagement with schools and teachers along the alignment. It's the culmination of months and months of hard work by a whole load of teams across Sydney. And the winners this year are Our Lady of Mercy College, Parramatta. So congratulations. Well, we've just won the <laughs> Metro Mind STEAM Challenge. They've done an amazing job, actually. The fact that, um, you know, the youngest groups were in Year 7s and 8s and to get up in front of quite a big group of people um, and pitch their idea, it's, they've done it with such professionalism and confidence, which has been amazing to see. And the fact as well that they, that, you know, on the spot we asked them questions about their idea and their thinking process and to be able to respond under pressure is actually pretty impressive. So I think the future's in good hands. We got to meet new people like the ambassadors and then coming here was fun but then the whole thing was good. I'm very impressed with the level um, and the standard across all the different schools and I had a chance to look at um, some of the, the ideas that didn't even make it today and I was very impressed. Um, very high quality um, students and I, I hope that they work in at Sydney Metro in the future. We learnt how to work together and co cooperate. The thing that impresses me most is the soft skills that the kids develop. It was pretty fun seeing our idea come to fruition. Since we collaborated on it for a pretty long period of time and working with these guys was really fun. I think it's incredible. I think any opportunity we get within our education system to have kids using their knowledge and skills on real world problems is an incredible opportunity. I think because we had like a phases and we had like a three stage plan. So I feel like that was really structured. And obviously it's Indigenous about Indigenous people. And it's a very like, it's a very relevant topic and issue that we, we don't really connect with them that much. So I feel like it's a good step towards that. Uh, the winner was picking up the Aboriginal participation and how we need to recognise Aboriginal peoples more. And that's such an easy thing to do tomorrow. We tried to make sure it was actually practical, it could actually be implemented and as quickly as possible because it is such a prevalent issue. Yeah! <laughs> See you next time.